about the difference between a CEO and a worker, right? And the reason why I'm actually talking about this, and this is something that we usually discuss with our skill with credit students, but if you're watching this video, first off, first off, I want you to actually hit the subscribe button and make sure, you know, if you're watching this on Instagram, share the video, right? There's people that needs to hear these type of information, right? Because it can actually help them become a better person and help them restructure the route and the path that they're actually going right uh, in their life or in their business, right? Um, and the first thing I want to really discuss is that becoming a worker, right? There's nothing wrong with it, right? Because sometimes you have to become a worker before you actually become a boss, before you actually become a CEO. And this is something that I can relate a hundred thousand percent, right? Just because before I got into my entrepreneurship journey, I used to fully uh, DJ, right? But before I really DJ, well, after I DJ, I'm sorry, um, I went to college, I went to University of West Georgia till my sophomore year. And what happened was that I was actually um, working at an American Deli on campus and then I was working at uh, Zaxby's in Kennesaw, right? And, you know, it's cool having a job making money, but there's a few things that really, really suck when you're actually working for someone, right? Number one, you have to get up on their time, right? Number two, you're trading your time for pay. So if you're trying to start a business or you're trying to start something, right? You are trading your time that you could have used to invest into yourself for personal development, to become a better person or a better human, to, become, to, be, to be able to eat differently, to be able to even surround yourself around people that are just like you, that's going the same direction that you're going, right? But if you're working at nine to five, you can't be able to do that. Now, I'm gonna tell you something that's gonna help you. If you are working at 95 and you have a game plan, right? A game plan can be, look, I'm gonna work this job for the next three to six months or nine months or 12 months. I'm gonna generate so-and-so amount of money so that I can be able to invest into myself into mentorship, coaching, into courses, uh, you know, into uh, events, right? Seminars, right? But if you're just working a job just to get the day over with and just pay your bills, I'm going to tell you this right now. You need to pump the brakes because when I release certain content or certain information, I release these information to actually help you become a better person. And not only that, I release this information to help you restructure your brain. Right? If you're going this way, then you know you don't want to go this way. You know you're being forced to go this way. I'm going to help you by the end of this video, go the opposite way and restructure, rebuild and lay the bricks for your life and your family life, right? Now, becoming a CEO, I'm gonna tell you this, it requires a lot and a lot of patience. It requires a lot of sacrifice. You are literally sometimes not going to sleep. Like I just talked to my partner the other day, Anthony, and I told him, look, I'm not going to sleep for the next three days. I'm gonna stay up to five o'clock, sleep for minimum two hours and continue to continue going. Now, is that healthy? No, but it's a sacrifice, right? If I was working a job, I can't do that because I'm gonna be tired to wake up the next day to go to the job that I don't like, that I'm being forced to work at. And I'm gonna tell you something about the job I used to work at that I didn't like. I used to drop chicken in a fryer, season it up with Coca-Cola products. I'm, I'm not probably not supposed to even discuss this, but season it up with like, well, prep it with Coca-Cola, season it up, and you know, I was just a prep, right? Now, I was coming home smelling like grease, working a minimum, I, I remember I was working like four days a week, no, five days a week, it was Monday through Friday, no Saturdays or Sunday, and I was working a minimum of eight hours. My takeaway check, like bi-weekly, was probably less than $300. Now, let me ask you something. If you're looking to build a business, if you're looking to create wealth for your family or your kids, if you're looking to take your income to the next level, do you really think $300 by weekly is enough? And a month I'm making $700 or less than a thousand, and you know how it is with the taxes. They take out state taxes, uh, all these other extra taxes, where it goes from $380 to probably $290 or $300 even. So the reason I'm making this video is I'm giving you faith, right? I'm giving you some type of encouragement for you to be able to find your passion, right? If you want to start that business, start it, right? You might be asking how, Godwin, I don't have the capital. It's not about the capital. Listen to me. It's not about the capital. It's about your following, who you're surrounding yourself with, right? The type of information you're getting from these people. There's so much free content that's being released on YouTube that you can literally start making money right now. You can start making $1,000 a day right now if 
you want to. It has to be in you, right? I can give you all the blueprints. I can give you all the courses. I can teach you everything you need to learn. But if it's not in you, or if you don't want it to be in you, how can you win, right? How? It's, it's, it's impossible, right? So of course, like I said, we talked about being a worker and we're diving into being becoming a CEO. Like I said, it's, it takes a lot of sacrifice time, patience, consistency, faith. You have to have faith. If you're doing everything that you're doing, you know you're taking yourself to a whole nother level. You know that you're seeing the progress. The one thing you really need is faith guidance. You need faith. If you don't believe in what you're doing, you're not gonna go too far. <laughs> you're gonna get to a certain, a certain phase or a certain level and stop. The number one thing that I see that, that you know are getting into the entrepreneurship uh, uh, um, you know side uh, in their life is that they get to a certain level right because of di they're not fully disciplined they get to a certain level and when they get to this certain level they might be making a thousand dollars a day or they might be making a thousand dollars a week or five thousand dollars a week or five thousand dollars a month right if they're doing these numbers they get too comfortable right and when they get too comfortable you are probably able to do a hundred thousand dollars a day but you limit yourself to five thousand dollars a day or five thousand dollars a week because of you don't have enough faith to go to the next level or you don't believe in yourself to surround yourself around better people that can take you to that next level right listen if you're watching this video right now i suggest you to get into my four step cra program right this is going to be a life changing program. And when I say this, I mean this. We are literally taking people from that work the job, that's working the job, starting a CRA business, a credit repair agency, start selling trade lines to consumers, start repairing consumers' credit, right? And they're going from working a job, getting paid three to four hundred bi weekly, to making five hundred dollars to a thousand dollars per client for free. Free. All right. So I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Like I said, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you're watching this on Instagram, make sure to share this video and comment something that you want to hear, right? Something that you want to learn in your, in your space. All right. I love you guys. Let's go.